Hello, it's Nanette from Heart Baby Home. Today we're going to be talking about heart number 36, which is a variation of hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Now that is where the left side of the heart is underdeveloped, and that can include the left atrium, the left ventricle, as well as the valves going in and out of the left ventricle. Let's start with the aorta. And we've got a hypoplastic aorta, as well as aortic valve stenosis. So that aorta is underdeveloped. If you look, it's a lot smaller than that in the normal heart. And the valve is also a lot smaller coming out of the right ventricle. We've also got double outlet right ventricle, and that's where both the aorta and the pulmonary artery come out of the right ventricle, and nothing comes out of the left ventricle. We've also got a hypoplastic left ventricle, and that just means that left ventricle is smaller than it should be. And then this isn't labeled, but if you see the PDA, the patent ductus arteriosus, that's between the aorta and the pulmonary artery, if you compare those right in the center, there's an extra pathway on heart number 36, and it's really big. In hypoplastic left heart, that PDA will always be really big, and that's because your body is depending on blood being able to come out of that right ventricle into the PA, which is the pulmonary artery, and then some of that blood shoots off in, through the PDA and goes out into the body. Well, that's really important because not enough blood is coming out through the aorta to sustain the body. And so when that PDA closes, then life won't be sustainable. And that's why it's so important to get a pulse ox while you're in the hospital uh, because once that PDA closes in certain heart defects, then it can no longer support the baby. And then you have to rush to the hospital and sometimes there can be lots of complications. So I really appreciate all the work that Cora's mom is doing to make pulse ox testing mandatory for newborns. It's such an easy test. It doesn't hurt at all. Please, if you have pregnant friends or if you're pregnant, tell them that they should ask for a pulse ox test before they leave the hospital. Now, getting back to heart number 36, I also see an ASD, which is an atrial septal defect. That's a hole in the wall between the right atrium and left atrium. Normally you wouldn't want that blood to mix, but in this heart, since there's no blood going out to the body from the left side of the heart, it's important for there to be a place for the oxygen-rich blood coming back from the lungs to find its way down into the right ventricle so that blood can go out of the right ventricle through the PDA and make it to the body. Otherwise, your body wouldn't get any oxygen at all. And it looks like that's it for heart number 36. So if you have any questions, if you need to contact me um, to draw a new heart or you have questions about this heart, you can find me at heartbabyhome.com slash contact. I'm also on Facebook and Twitter. If you appreciated this video, please subscribe to me below or leave a comment or click like, and that directly helps me. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.